Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm going to be asking the question, is Windows 11 fixed yet? So let's check it out. So back in October 2021, I did a couple of videos on whether it was uh, really worth upgrading to Windows 11, especially if you're kind of coming from Windows 10. Um, you know, some of the things that I had found, a couple of oddities in Windows 11, some of the things that you'd kind of expect would exist in Windows 11 that were in Windows 10 and even earlier uh, operating systems. And, you know, obviously Microsoft's been developing this, uh, you know, in an iterative uh, fashion with Windows 11. And, um, you know, some of these things have been updated since then. So I thought, you know, I'd, I'd do another video, just take a look at some of those things, look at some of the other things that have started to come out. Uh, you know, so some of these things are on the uh, kind of like the developer channel of um, of Windows 11. So they're not quite in the final uh, release, the next big release for Windows 11. Um, but, you know, Microsoft's been playing around with some of these things on the, under the hood. So let's get uh, straight in and have a look at some of the, the UI issues that I pointed out um, back in one of those early videos. And, and that was kind of like the inconsistency on the user interface. Uh, you know, you had Windows 11 had this fancy new uh, user interface and then certain things like the recycle bin and stuff like that. When you right clicked and got the context menu, it was very much the old style, uh, you know, Windows 10 and earlier interface with, you know, it just looked odd. It didn't look like a, 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 a you know, a product that was ready to be uh, released to the, the general population. Um, Microsoft's gone and sorted that now. Obviously, a lot of technicalities under the hood to go and um, resolve those because of the underlying components that were being used. Um, but certainly, it certainly looks a, a, a lot more uh, integrated, a lot slicker, and a, you know, the UI is starting to come together now, I feel. Uh, you know, it's, it's looking like it is actually all part of the same operating system. So as I mentioned in the previous videos, you know, there's this whole new start menu, which, you know, it's a bit of a Marmite thing. You love it or hate it. And, uh, you know, Microsoft's been tweaking away at that uh, since the earlier versions of Windows 11. And one of the new things that they've introduced into that now is the ability to group items within the menu, which I think is uh, really quite nice. Uh, obviously, you know, a similar kind of thing that was in previous Windows operating systems, you know, kind of like Windows 10 and uh, Windows 8. So, you know, you had the ability to group stuff there. That was very much missing uh, from Windows 11. And, you know, as an operating system where they're, they're trying to make it, you know, something that works in a, in a tablet mode or a desktop mode, uh, you know, taking away something like that, um, you know, really uh, has obviously impacted a, a number of users. So, you know, they finally got that back in and it's a really simple process. You know, you can just drag and drop your items and it will create those groups for you. So good to see that. It means you're going to be able to tidy up your start menu uh, and you know start to customize it the way that you want it to appear, basically. Now, it's not all been plain sailing on the dev channel. There's been some quite horrific uh, bugs that have existed recently. Uh, one of those which really did catch me out was uh, to do with Explorer. And I, you know, not quite sure exactly what the problem was, but you know, basically copying files. If you you, you were using Explorer to copy files around, um, then effectively it would just crash. It would just silently crash, no error or anything like that, and you know, your whole process would have would have stopped. Your files wouldn't have copied, and um, you know, there was a bit of a workaround on that. You know, it was to just kind of like use your Control C and Control V to copy and paste files. Uh, but even so, you know, stuff like that being introduced mid-cycle, you know, that, that, you kind of wonder sometimes with Microsoft, you know, the, the level of testing. You know, it's a big organization, Microsoft. They've got a huge number of developers and stuff like that really shouldn't be slipping through the net. However, with the latest release that I've uh, just upgraded to, which went on uh, yesterday, uh, that has now, well, that seems to be fixed. You know, I can quite happily drag and drop files around and explore and copy them and you know that that is all quite stable now so um, you know I think it would be really worrying if that had made it out into the, the kind of like the true live environment I think uh, there'd be some hasty patching going on by Microsoft for that one now one of the other big things that I mentioned in my previous videos 
was the drag and drop functionality that seemed to have been taken away uh, on Windows 11, especially you know dragging um, files that are on your desktop and you know maybe putting them on your taskbar or even dragging them into an application that is running now. This is a really bizarre one, this one. This um, obviously wasn't working when I did those videos. Microsoft's been obviously you know, tinkering away here. This was working um, you know, just a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, it looked absolutely great. It was as you would expect it. Um, having put on the new version yesterday, that functionality now seems to have gone. So I'm not sure whether you know, they've found an issue there and they've kind of backtracked that a little bit. However, you know, I think the signs are promising that, you know, obviously they are working on that, you know, and that functionality is going to come back to Windows 11 at some point in time. That was kind of my idea, uh, you know, my thought process in the early videos that this wouldn't be something that would be a long term exclusion from Windows 11. Um, but even so, you know, this is this is stuff that's been working in previous Windows operating systems. So I'm not sure why this is such a difficult thing for Microsoft to reintroduce. Uh, you know, I know they are obviously battling these challenges between stuff on tablets and, and you know, having it working with tablets and, and desktop and things like that. But, you know, th these are these are fundamental things in the operating system. However, you know, as I say, it looks promising and I'm sure we will see it back in a later version of the, uh, the developer channel. Now, one of the things that I didn't really notice when I did the videos uh, previously was in the, the system tray and the little pop up. Uh, you know, if you've got too many icons that comes up. So obviously previously in, in Windows, you could drag those items out of that, that kind of like panel and you could put them onto your system tray and have as many of those little icons there as you wanted. And that, that functionality was taken away in Windows 11, uh, but it's now back. Uh, you know, Microsoft have gone and put that back into place and uh, you can quite happily drag those, uh, those shortcuts back onto your, your taskbar. So absolutely great to see that back. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking for that functionality to be restored in Windows 11. So, you know, clearly Microsoft listening to the users there and uh, moving that, uh, that change forward in their release cycle. So if you're a user of the movie editor, photo editor functionality in Windows 10, uh, obviously, you know, that still exists in Windows 11. However, you know, certainly if you go into it for the first time, you see this big banner now for a thing called ClipChamp. Uh, you know, this is Microsoft's kind of way to kind of like engage with the uh, the users that are you know posting on social media or kind of like shorts and stuff like that. You can do all fancy things with it. Uh, not too sure about the name for it. Sounds a bit too teenagery for me. Um, but you know, that, that is what they've gone for. Um, something slightly worrying with it uh, is it does seem to be a bit of a freemium kind of model um, there, which you know. I'm sure many people will remember some of these things which Microsoft tried to introduce many years ago uh, on Windows. And you know, for me, you know, it's if you're going to put applications in an operating system, they're either free as part of the operating system, or you, uh, you know, you charge for them via the store. You don't try to get users to upgrade bits, you know, as part of your operating system. But you know, we will have to see how that one develops going forward. In general, though, I found Windows 11 to be quite a pleasant experience. You know, yes, it is frustrating at times. There are things that you know it still doesn't do, and it's it's frustrating to see Microsoft kind of going backwards on some of these things whilst they they move themselves forward. Um, you know, it's not been without some other problems. Uh, blue screens or, or green screens, as a, as a, I've seen. Um, you know, especially after upgrades, you know, first boot after that and it just completely crashes. However, you know, another reset and it's back up and running. That seems to have stabilized now, um, you know, whatever was going on there, that, that certainly is not happening in the current releases. Um, so hopefully by the time, you know, they've, they've boxed all these things off uh, and make it uh, available for general uh, release, then, you know, there should be some good additions within Windows 11. Um, you know, in terms of overall performance and use of applications and games and things like that, um, you know, just, it is just working absolutely fine. And, um, you know, I think, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, in Microsoft's cycle of operating systems, I think it's definitely an operating system at this moment in time that is keeping true to the record of operating systems, whether it will be as bad 
um, as some of the previous bad ones have been. I'm not quite sure. I think Microsoft will keep on chipping away at this. Um, you know, and, and you know, effectively Windows 12 will be really where Microsoft want Windows 11 to be. Um, but you know, I think they'll have shifted us all in our ways of working within with with Windows. You know, with with having uh, you know the start menu the way it is and everything. So they'll ultimately got um, you know what they're aiming to do. One thing just for. Uh, kind of like viewers who are outside of the US and it, and it is a, still a bit of a disappointment as the Android app support is still not there um, for, for non-US countries um, you know and obviously you know that relies upon the Amazon App Store to be available from the Microsoft Store all a bit of a dog's dinner you know I think they really need to think about how they're, they're doing that you know having to you know go to a store from a store uh, doesn't feel quite right um, but uh, that being said, you know, hopefully that will come to general population again um, relatively soon, um, you know, because, you know, that, that opens up a whole new host of possibilities as well. So fingers crossed we'll see that before, uh, you know, hopefully before the end of 2022. Uh, but who knows, you know, it's Microsoft. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. You know, what's your experience with Windows 11? Um, you know, have you found any... Uh, you know other issues uh, as you've been using it um, you know have you still kind of avoided upgrading to Windows 11 are you still running your Windows 10 uh, certainly the temptation's been there uh, you know every, every so often to just kind of you know go back to Windows 10 but you know it, Windows 11 keeps dragging me along so I, I'm very interested to hear people's thoughts on this one uh, you know if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and you know if you're not a subscriber to the channel hit the subscribe button but as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now